Millions of Canadians are about to experience and feel some of the hottest temperatures of the season. This could be one of our longest and hottest heat waves of the summer and meteorologist Rhythm Reet is here to break it down. We're also going to talk about what's happening on the other side of the country with temperatures falling and even the risk for some snow. But first Rhythm, what is a heat dome? I think that's the question that many Canadians are asking as we look ahead at next week. Well, a heat dome is a high pressure area that essentially traps hot ocean air. Now with it, as the high pressure compresses downwards on that warm air, it makes it even hotter, bringing with it plenty of moisture. Now through this weekend, we do have high pressure in place for Ontario as well as Quebec. So a lot of the moisture is going to be on the backside of this other high pressure that's going to be leading to some severe storms. But as we head towards Monday, that's when that heat dome is going to push into areas across the eastern end of central U.S. And with it, all of that moisture is going to start to spill over into Ontario and Quebec. So when you look at the humidity there in Toronto, it'll feel like 42. I was looking at Windsor, Ontario, the seven day forecast, you know, in my opinion, it looks dangerous. It looks scary. Sure. If you have a backyard pool and if you have amazing air conditioning or you're up at the cottage, you can you can jump into a cold lake. This weather may be appealing to you, but for many Canadians, it's not. It's risky and it's dangerous weather. So let's talk about the impact to people. Absolutely. So when we're talking about this, we are looking at that chain reaction happening. We have the ridge that builds into place. Like I mentioned, you're going to be looking at even more warmer conditions as the, that hot air compresses on top of it. Then you're also not looking at any type of a relief in the overnight that we generally wait for. And that increases the risk for a heart or heat stroke as we're heading into these very warm temperatures. So next week is definitely not a week where you want to be going out outside and doing any running or any extra um, extensive uh, exercises. Absolutely. And we have to think about the vulnerable populations too: the elderly, the very young, pregnant people, anyone with any underlying health issues. Next week's weather will be uncomfortable. So Rhythm, let's take a look at some of the numbers, you know, on a broader picture. And in your opinion, where do you think we'll feel this heat the most? Well, Southern Ontario, Windsor, like you mentioned, is definitely going to be getting the peak of this heat. But Montreal, Ottawa, also looking at 35, feeling like 45. And as we take a look into Wednesday, Rachel, we're definitely going to be looking at that heat pushing into the Maritimes as well. Moncton into Halifax as well. Now with it, I do want to highlight one thing. Those overnight temperatures that I mentioned before, even through the overnight through Tuesday all the way to Friday, we're not going to be passing and increasing past 20 degrees Celsius. So you're really not going to be looking at much relief until at least a little bit later on. Now for anyone who's thinking, okay, I don't have air conditioning. I'm not looking forward to this. Do you have any indication as to when this heat dome may end? Well, it is going to be sticking around for a little bit of time. Even when we take a look into next Saturday, down towards regions of Windsor, still looking at 34, feeling like 40. But as we head into the middle of next week, that next to next week, rather, that's when we can start to see a little bit of relief on the way. All right. And now as one side of the country rises, the other dips. We have an active storm track across the West and even the risk for some snow. And with it, that's going to be all thanks to the troughing right across the West. That's going to amplify all of the lows that pushes through the region. So when we take a look at the risk map for today, active weather all the way down towards the southern regions of British Columbia, some non-severe storms and also some severe storms. And all of that cold air that's going to be associated with the cold front over Saskatchewan, that's going to be bringing some snow into those higher elevations across Banff as well as those higher uh, elevations for the Kootenai region and Alberta. All right, it's really the tale of two seasons right across the country. Meteorologist Rhythm Reet, thanks for breaking down the details.